everyone? Cheryl and Charlie's Personal Crafts here. Oh, yeah, I'm at my table. Um, it feels good to be over here, but again, I my leg is so much better. It really is. My, my knee, rather. But um, it seems to have... <laughs> I, have to, I hate talking like an old lady, but it seems to have transferred into my spine, and I've always had a bad back, but it's been kind of stable, I guess because I've had my mind on my knee, so, but anyway, I'm here, I'm at my table, got a little candle lit, and um, I hope this video turns out. I did a video before this video, and it, I don't know why, but the pause me knocked me off uh it didn't even uh record my work so i'm praying to god nothing's going on again with pause me and we get through this video so with that being said i have to go fast because i'm afraid i'm going too long on the video and that's why that's happening but first off i don't mean to be going fast my two new subscribers i know there are more that i've missed but i'll get to you the Queen's Life, what a great name. Hi, and Life with Patty. Hi, Patty, so glad to have you. And um, also, I really appreciate all your taking the time out to watch me. I'm starting to add the names for the Friday giveaway. And I got a little surprise I'm adding to the giveaway that I worked on today. But I'm hoping I can show you that before the end of the video. I wanna get started. Uh, I made, remember I told you that I would like to add something else to the video? I mean, yeah, to the video. Something else to the giveaway? Well, I did do something today, and I hope you like it. Uh, I added a, something from the Dollar General, which is, is just something I picked up. They have like a little dollar spot. Uh, that was, uh, oh gosh. Um, the roll, you know the roller things that get the lint off your clothes? Well, there were little baby ones, two in a pack, so I picked up then. So I'm adding things to the giveaway. So by Friday, we should have some nice things, plus a really cool thing I hope you like that I made. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to put this down, I hope, and show you. We won't do the whole thing. I'm just going to get started, and this is not cooperating with me. Hold on. There we go. And I'm gonna show you, here's the tray. I made a check side, I made repaint it. I don't like it. I don't like that the paint was seeping through. And on the other side, I tried with this Dollar Tree, which everybody has seen, like the border. But I can always pull it off. I'm not sure I like that either. I do like, I was trying to do a check that I saw on Olivia's romantic life channel she's awesome check her out and she did a checkered candle and i fell in love with it but it is work you would be surprised how hard it is to do a check panel on a on a anything really it's it's hard work anyway okay so i'm going to get started with the pieces that i did you know and some of them that i soaked in water they actually didn't come apart and if i pushed it and tried to rip it apart some of them i destroyed so i feel really bad about that but let's get started raha's card is beautiful i it was it's real thin and i want that in the center oh another thing i want to talk to you guys about why i am doing this <clears throat> okay if anyone gets their hands on the matte finish mod podge i'll show you the jar in one second Please let me know. I will pay you for it. I will pay for shipping because I cannot, cannot find um, my Podge. Every place I, 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 now the stores are closed. I have to press, because these are thick papers, we got to press hard. This, because the stores are all closed, they have pickup or they have um, what you call um, so curbside service. Well, I, call, I checked Amazon. I'm gonna rub my fingers to smash it down. Amazon, I called, um, <clears throat> I called Michaels. I checked the websites. 
and every single place target does not is out of stock with mod podge so there's a lot of crafters out there that apparently are bored and are using the Mod Podge. I guess that's a good thing, but not for me because I use so much Mod Podge. I absolutely love it. Now, I have a little left in this 32 ounce container. This is the color I use, the matte finish. If you see it, holler at me. Okay, I'm all out. This was a little tiny one I got and I'm all out. This is a higher gloss. I do have a little bit left of the really high, high, high gloss, but it really is terrible, um, is for drying time. But I will have to use this too if I run out of the regular. All right, so all I'm doing is you can put it on, I'm gonna, here's a really nice thing. It says, uh, if what happens in grandma stays at grandma's. This was from a card. And what I'm going to do is paint the back first because this is a very thick piece. I couldn't break it apart. I soaked it in water overnight, some warm water. And some of the pieces did uh, filter off, but a lot of them didn't. So then I'm gonna lay it down somewhere on the tray, press it. I'm gonna do it like at an angle. There's no rhyme or reason to this, just do it. And soak it up with a lot of Mod Podge because this is much thicker than Radha's heart. Um, card over here so it's much harder to get it to stay down that's why I really tried to <clears throat> take the layers of the card off and because I have this thicker take your finger and kind of smash it down it's really easy to do honestly I'm going to take some of this high gloss and see if I can get it down with this so all I'm doing because this is, has a much thicker gloss to it and it's wetter, so it might adhere better. So what I want to accomplish, now I don't know how this is gonna turn out, I've never done it, but what I'd like to accomplish is filling up the whole tray and make it like a nice coat of Mod Podge, a nice sheen, shine, and then um, I can do a, a Mod Podge sealant spray at the end. Here's another piece. I'm putting a lot of Mod Podge on the back because this is a thick piece also. And I'm gonna try to hit the corners. Uh, I don't know if, yeah, you can see it on there. So I'm going to take my cards to save time because I don't know what's going on with my website my app on here to videotape all this. It seems like they're sabotaging me for some reason. I don't know. I still haven't gotten with my son because of this epidemic we're in, pandemic, uh, to help me with the, the um, app that he purchased for me for Christmas. So I'm layering down a lot, especially if it's really thick. <clears throat> and I also want to put down some of the uh, writing that I cut some really sweet lines out of some of the cards that were sent to me. This one I had a hard, also had a hard time. I couldn't get it apart. I tr when I pulled it apart, and if it started to peel or break, I would just stop. you need some on the bottom too. So I may shut the tape off every now and then, the video, <clears throat> so that we don't. Uh, get messed up on this video. So that it comes out okay. I've never done this. I've never tried it. So please bear with me if it doesn't turn out exactly the way I had hoped. Well, one thing about me, if, see that's it so far, it's upside down. If things aren't exactly right, I, I find another use for it. I figure something else out. I'm like, okay, that didn't work, so I'll do this, or I'll use it for that. Uh-oh, piece of hair on there. 
Okay, so I'm gonna do a couple more and I'll be back. Okay, everyone, I am still working. I have to show you where I'm at. I have a few more pieces uh, that I can lay down that I had success cutting. But this will be a collage. So what I want to happen is not one white section of the bottom to be uh, by, like, I don't want any of the white showing. I want it to be a total, complete collage. Even if it kind of overlaps things, I want to try to keep it away from the things that I really want to be shown. So that's it, and I'm going to keep on going and let you see uh, I have about a few more pieces and then I'll come on and sign off still going at it just filling in spots where there is trying to cover up all the white if you couldn't separate the card which is in some cases my problem here make sure you saturate it on the back and the front with my pot because it's really difficult to get it to lay down on the wood or any object really if it's really thick. So just do the best that you can. And um, kind of finishing up here, I'll just show you a few more that I'm doing. Just my podge in the back of the card, piece of card I cut out. And kind of just sticking it somewhere where the kind of melts or blends the way you want it it's up to you i have never done this like i said before so this is a kind of uh touch and go i don't know i don't know how it'll turn out i'm just going to do my best to cover the whole the whole uh base of this tray some of the uh, little pieces i cut out they were like 2d and um Oh well, I just did the best I could and put them on there. Just laid them down. I'm just trying to absorb all the empty spots. It's like, it's going to be like a really neat collage, I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope. So like I said, if it's not thin enough, if you couldn't separate it like a napkin, just really put a heavy dose of Mod Podge on the back and the front. I'm waiting to get this cute little dog. It's funny because a lot of the, these pieces, I know where they came from. And it's crazy, but it jolts my memory, which is really neat. And I hope my daughters keep this tray as a memory of my life. That would be kind of cool. So just keep dosing it with the Mod Podge, even the stuff that's dry. And if it starts to bubble, I notice some of the thicker card is bubbling. Just, this is not a one night job, believe me, craft. Just take your fingers and smash it down. Just rub it and get the bubbles out. And just dose it down with the Mod Podge. This is really, I think it's going to be really cute, honestly, you know. And like if you see something drying, just saturate it again. Give it a nice coat to make sure it's, it adheres. All right, I'm coming towards the end. Oh, here's a cute little piece of a heart. Love a card. I'm dosing the back and finding a spot. And then my podge it down. Just kind of. What else we got here? A couple little flowers that I cut out of a card. And I also like to put Mod Podge wherever you're going to lay it. Put a dose of the Mod Podge on the bottom too, also, because that kind of helps it to stick. So uh, this isn't this is a job. This isn't a one. I mean, it's not hard, but I can tell this is very time-consuming, and it'll definitely take 
another two days, which you will go along with me on this ride, for it to, um, you know, dry completely. And then I put a dose of spray. I'm doing the bottom of the tray plus the back of the uh, thing I'm putting down, which is like a little blue. Um, it's going to take a couple days for it to cure and dry on here. And then I will go out outside and spray it with um, a Mod Podge sealant. My, and if I see that certain areas need another dose of Mod Podge or I have to lay down more, it's not completely covered, I'll just do that before I spray it because it has to be completely dried and settled. Here's another piece of card. I love that. I love that. So where should we put that? That's going to be a little problem. Let me see here. I'm going to cover up the dog. I don't know. I may have to cut that piece. Some of the pieces you may have to cut to it fit into the certain little sections. Of the tray, because like I said, I wanna to try to cover the whole thing with, um, like all these little white areas on the tray. I'm hoping I can fit little tiny pieces in there. Okay, I shall return. Hi everyone. Okay, I used up almost all the little pieces that I had that I really wanted to put on here. I had to like pick a little section of each card and uh, something I really is endearing to me and cut it and get splice it on here. I wish I could get it all on here, but I'd have to make a whole other tray. So I have this one little ice cream cone left and I'm going to use that and one little piece of balloon that says happy. And I'm going to show you what I have so far. I don't know if you would like this craft or if you think it's ridiculous. I don't know. Just remember, it's not done. It has to cure and dry a couple days. So I'll probably be coming on doing a different craft until this is ready because this has to cure. I have a really thick Mod Podge on here because I'm running out of my matte finish, which is the uh, the thicker one is hard to work with and it takes longer to cure. So here it is so far, but it's wet, okay? So I chose some words on here. And when this dries, it'll be more brilliant. You wanna see it again, somebody said? <laughs> I can read your minds. And um, once it is, then I have well, I'll get it and show you what I have. By the way, my back is killing me. <laughs> Sorry about that. I am old. Okay, so I'm gonna show you. There's this Mod Podge clear acrylic sealer. And it looks like this. I'm sorry, it's backwards, but I'm trying to save time here. I hope I don't lose this video. Then I have another one, which is very good. Patricia, uh, Patricia Nemox uh, clear. It looks like this. Um, hold on. Can you, oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to show you in the front version. Sorry about my messy haul. This is the Mod Podge Matte Clear Acrylic Sealer. And this is the other one that I possibly will use and let my hand settle so you can see this. Maybe not. Patricia, it's like blurry. I'll take pictures of them for you, okay? Pictures to show you because my hand, it's not shaking, it's just, it's gotta be totally um, settled before it'll stop that blurriness on there. Okay, so I got a couple little pieces here. I'm gonna cut up, lay them down on there. Now, I may tomorrow when I wake up have to put another dose of Mod Podge on here. Like I said, I'm running out of the matte finish, is what, which is what I love the most. 
this, this here. This is the best with the yellow and the orange trim. And this is what I'm running out of. Where's the lid? I gotta keep the lid on to keep it from evaporating away. And um, so I may have to put another dose of the Mod Podge on here. And um, if I do, I will, because I don't want anything coming up. And then on the third day is when I'll go outside and spray it and get a nice clear finish with the Mod Podge acrylic sealer. And uh, it should be really cute. And um, in the meantime, if I have to find, I wanna see the little, little sections, the little white, without covering things up, I wanna do a filler. It's just like a collage, you know? with all memories of mine. And this is why I'm doing this, because if I let my cards laying around, and God forbid I die, which I will eventually, uh, I don't want my daughters to throw out my cards. So this is a way I hope that they'll keep them. Maybe they'll pass it on to one of my granddaughters, Chloe or Leah, and say, this was grandmom's, and put it in your bedroom, and you can have your tea in the morning, and your, uh, or your coffee or whatever and say this was my grandmom's so um i don't know if you like that idea try it it's easy take your cards i know it's hard to let them go but you can't keep everything trust me i've seen it a thousand times when people pass away they trash everything it's sad but it's true um not everything but you know what i mean um to them the cards what are we going to do with them they'll throw them out so if you want to like keep something for a little bit in your children's lives try it uh, i hope you like this craft but before we go i'm going to move to the sofa i got something to show you so remember me telling you that i'll probably be throwing a few more things into the giveaway well i decided i wanted to make something special well it is to me but it may not be to you and so my hands are full of glue so with cardboard i made this and it is uh as you see, I used cardboard and I cut out a little vase, traced it and cut it out. And on the front it says, I used a sticker that is from Angela, Believe in Yourself. I put that on there. All these flowers, my hands are a mess, are handmade by me uh, with felt. I did a little filler with leaves from my, my Dollar Tree flowers. And right here is a little dragonfly that Angela gave me and some cute little butterflies that Angela gave me <laughs> and this is the fun part hold on so here we are in my kitchen and this is my refrigerator okay um, there's Charlie you get to see my Charlie and there's Tom when he took my dog out in his winter coat getting his treat and this is my, um, uh, a, it is a Dollar Tree frame, and I framed it with ivy a long time ago, one of my first crafts on here. And I put magnets on it now so I can write down what I need at the store, etc., etc. Okay, moving along. This is the fun part. I magnetized my vase of beautiful handmade flowers. Uh, I just got to trim here a little bit. And uh, that'll be with the giveaway also. I hope you like it. So please come back soon. I'm trying to create another craft and come back and see how the tray turns out. And I'll pray for you and you pray for me. God bless.